gon' step up for me Make sure my fans stay cause my daughter gotta eat I know I ain't perfect Hello family and thank you for coming to the house Yes, welcome to my YouTube channel Deb Chanel's 48's World Where we get down and do reviews We do mostly reviews on Real Housewives of Atlanta As well as Merit to Medicine And pretty much anything that comes across our media feed That we choose to talk about but today, we're going to be talking about a story or article that was brought out on Love B. Scott's page on none other than our Real Housewives of Atlanta co-star. That co-star we're going to be talking about, that LoveBScott.com brought out a salacious, a salacious, got me stuttering over him, commentary on Miss Portia Williams from the Real Housewives of Atlanta, yeah. Guys, yes, she is turning it out. <laughs> it was from VI Blast. So I guess they're doing a little combination one, two, catch, punch with her spin on it. And then she's getting commentary from the Blast.com, which is another blogging site that's adding fuel to the fire. Now, all of this is allegedly, of course. But um, it doesn't give me who actually wrote the article per se. For Love B. Scott, so I'm just going to say a staff reporter. All right, but they give us a title as Real Housewives of Atlanta star Portia Williams calls the real host Lonnie Love a itch. Okay, B with the I-T-C-H. Okay, itch for talking about her fiance, none other than Dennis McKinley. And it was a video on Portia's Instagram account, but I guess a lot of people told her she is a brand. She cannot be going over there on her social media outlet showing out. She has sponsors. She's on a platform. She don't want to be doing this. She don't want to be putting her revenue in jeopardy to take that crap down. Well, you know me. It has to come across my media feed before I go and say I want to put my opinion out there for the masses to view and take part of. I don't just go, you know, Riding around like a paparazzi just trying to find news. So I didn't actually get a chance to be privy of on her Instagram account what she had posted negatively for none other than Lenny Love to partake and see. Okay. So I don't know. Portia probably was in her feelings or whatnot. But from where did her, whatever it was on that particular Instagram account on Portia Williams' site, it wasn't for everybody to see. So I don't know if she put, pulled it down or her PR people pulled it down on behalf of her. But it's no longer there when I went to go check it out after I had this um, article run across my social media feed. But like I said, you all got the title. Real Housewives of Atlanta star Portia Williams calls the real host Lonnie Love a itch for talking about her fiancé, Dennis McKinley. We go on into the article, and it reads, Portia Williams has no love for Lonnie Love. The Real Housewives of Atlanta star took to Instagram to blast Lonnie for talking slick about her relationship with Dennis McKinley. V.I. The Blast wrote, The reality star posted a clip from The Real where the hosts were discussing Portia's relationship with Dennis McKinley. Adrian Ballon said, I couldn't do it. But I'm not going to judge someone else for the way they choose to live their life or decisions she's going to make. I don't understand. Well, my sidebar, Adrian Ballon, didn't nobody ask you to voice your opinion. But since you kind of skirted around it, it seems like you were not in agreement with Portia being back with Dennis either. Or you would just say, I passed. I ain't got nothing to say. I plead the field, and you should have kept your mouth quiet. So to me, it was like you were co-signing with um, Lonnie Love in her opinionated voice that she didn't think Portia needed to be back, you know, with her ex-boyfriend, ex-fiance, however you want to see it. But I'm sure we'll see everything that transpired through the taping of season 12 on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. But as we know of current and in the future, she still plans to deal with this man in a relationship as well as going further and taking his last name as his wife. Okay, so in essence, Portia has to learn the hard way of the guy she's dealing with. And it may, in retrospect, turn out to be a 
perfect relationship. But she definitely, as I have said in the past, need to take a slow evaluate. Stop the brakes. You know, stop the car from rolling and just keep it in neutral for a while. She has time, but hey, if she want to go over there and drop that broom in January, February, and March, or the rest of the years that uh rest of the months that go through 2020, do it, honey. Do you so you can once said this is your second marriage, uh be victorious with it or fail again. It's your choice. Okay. But anyway, um, I don't know why Lonnie is even talking about anybody's situation because too many people don't feel too cool about her relationship with the Caucasian man, okay? So, we don't want to go throw stones at glass houses, Lana Love. Watch your own front yard before you go talking about somebody else's front yard because it just is what it is. And it's funny how it was an article done some time ago in the past on the insistence that bloggers and bloggers and YouTube content creators were just giving, getting too much into the business and not spreading facts and this, that, and the third. But yet, you're on a public platform giving your opinion about somebody else that's in you all circle in the entertainment business world that y'all may see each other. And then you sit up there and talk smack or sideways how Portia is saying and don't think you ever gonna meet back up with Portia because evidently you be running up to Portia and the real uh, and the rest of the cast of the Real Housewives of Atlanta, from what I'm gathering or how she's expressing herself about it. when you see them or you see Portia, you come running up, you know, laughing ear to ear. So I wonder how are you going to be doing it now since you know Portia caught your little uh, slick shady. How are you going to express yourself when you see your? you know, in public again. I'm sure it's not going to be a warm reception. I'm sure it's going to be one of those fake Hollywood, how you doing? Hey, okay, I'm fine, cool, keep it moving type of scenarios. But getting back to the article, that's just my sidebar. It says, um, Lonnie jumped in, she jumped in saying, let me tell you something. Portia's trying to get that reality show. Well, I think she has a reality show. She's co-starring. And she's done real well. I'm trying to think. Has Portia been on The Real Housewives of Atlanta nine seasons or ten? It's one of those. But either way, she already got her foot well solidified in The Real Housewives of Atlanta franchise. And she better not move from it, okay, until the uh, it goes into signification, meaning it don't wrap, but somebody don't pick them up where we can see past episodes of the first season all the way up to season 12 if they decide to get rid of it. But I don't think Andy Cohen and the rest of the executives are even going to go there. All right. And if that does happen, I'm sure she would get a spinoff show or some other show she'll be a part of because she's she made good TV. She keeps it interesting. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say she's a main player because she's not really a main player on The Real Housewives of Atlanta, but she adds something to the show. That's what I can say. And I like seeing her, you know, giving us her little beauty queen type of little situation going around him, you know, acting young and fun, but, you know, sometimes her uh, opinions and sometimes her viewpoints are a little screwed up, uh, and we're working on that because she's growing, she's maturing every day, and she's making business moves, so we're just going to say, make sure you get that prenup, okay? We want prenup, and my Kanye uh, West voice, we want prenup, okay, Portia? I'm sure Lady Diane is trying to feel her ear. If, her, if not, her sister Lauren is cluing her in. Get that prenup before you get down and say I do to that Mr. Dennis McKinley, okay? But anyway, she throwing her two cents in about Portia getting a reality show. I'm like, aren't you on a reality show, Lun Love? Why are you trying to stop Portia's coin, okay? Then she's on Dish Nation. She's a radio personality. So she go from TV to radio. Now, how about that? And Lana, they say you're a comedian, but yet you have not made me laugh. Not one episode I've seen on the reel. You even got me frustrated half the time, okay, with some of the stuff that come out your mouth because you're an educated woman. I know you are. You're very book smart. You're an engineer, but yet, okay, entertainment must pay real well because you definitely ain't trying to move from that situation and go draw up you some, uh, we call it blueprints or something where you done constructed something and made it come to fruition. Why you were not doing nothing like that, Lonnie? You're just sitting up there looking pretty every day, 
voicing your opinions on trending topics. That's all you're doing. You ain't doing nothing with your education, baby. So evidently, entertainment must pay a hell of a lot more than getting a traditional career field, professionalism, career choice, and 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 uh, advocating and being in that field, you know, making your money. Evidently, it's not paying that much. So, hey, Portia got a knack for TV. People like her. People are drawn to her. Don't bust her bubble because she getting her money. She getting it much earlier than you did, honey. No, she did. She, I guess she just got high school education. Okay, but that's not stop. Her, that's not stopping her destination or where she's trying to go. Now get into that, Lonnie Love. While you trying to throw slick shade on one of my girls on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, don't come for them. Like Twirl said, don't come unless we ask for you. We summon you, you come, okay? But don't mess with the Real Housewives of Atlanta, girl. Stay on the real, all right? I'm just saying. But going back to the article, it said Portia was not pleased with Lonnie. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Lonnie's comment writing, itch, F you. Fake ass don't run up smiling when I see you. Now, ain't that that Georgia in her? Ain't that that Southern growing Georgia in her? In the hood coming out. Now, Portia knows she ain't no state in no hood, but she acted like she was from the ghetto somewhere. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, Portia, did you hang out in the ghetto? Because <clears throat> I'm thinking, you hung out. I don't even think you were a part of the ghetto. But I guess you said you were down with like four or five ties with your girls that may have come in the ghetto, lived in the projects or something, and you learned from them. Loyalty is everything. So I ain't, I ain't got nothing. You you might be honorary ghetto. Okay? <laughs> but I know Portia would get them hands on somebody. That's why she's in anger management. Don't ever let that go, Portia. Don't ever let that go. And don't let them people try you. You know what's good for you. And if you want to go mess with a man like Dennis McKellen, that's your own poison. Drink it well, okay? And don't complain. Don't complain. Because we don't do that on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. We take our eggs that have rotten. We take our bad lemons. And we make us a drink. If it's a protein type drink or it's a, <coughs> a, a alcoholic type drink. We make it, we serve it up, and we feel good, and we go about our business, okay? We may grieve for a little time, but joy comes in the morning. We get up, and we fight the battles viciously again, even if we have to do it single-handedly with the Lord's help, okay? But moving back on to the article, uh, a commenter got into it and said, got into the DMs of Portia's uh, Instagram account. Uh, one follower told Portia to take down this down, sis. Take down this down. That don't make sense, but it sounds good at the time. Yes, one follower told, told Portia to take down this down, sis. You so above this. The Real Housewives of Atlanta star said, I will after she see it. Thanks. Okay. Their men are doing it while they're busy sitting up here talking ish about other people. Believe that. Baby girl, don't let outside voices bother you. Just know you're on their minds and your name is in their mouths. And this was wrote by one of uh, Shaw's of Sunset's little celebrity reality uh, women over there called Gonisha. I can't pronounce her name. Gar Garagichidi. So we just going to go with Gigi. We, that's how I remember her when I used to watch uh, Shaw's of Sunset. Miss Gigi over there. Okay, Gonessa. She got into that. So, like, she pretty much said, don't let them dim your shine. Don't let them dim your shine, honey. Shine, shine bright like a diamond in my Rihanna voice. Uh, another fan commented, damn, as women, we are terrible at supporting one another. We need to do better. And I don't think it's not so much a support. I think people just get jealous and in their feelings. And they, because they can't do something that they see someone else doing. And they see someone, a lot of people are gravitating to them, you know, watching them, viewing them, uh, throwing, you know, making sure they get a lot of accolades of praise. Or, no, I'm going to say praise. Uh, but just a lot of, you know, high fives and stuff like that. Some people can't uh, handle that. And they go throwing salt and, and saying, Every negative thing that can come out the uh the water the <coughs> the waterfall okay they want to just take you down as well verbally if they can but see when you got tough skin you know who you are people can say things to you and the shit they'll roll off like you know boom like you got some kind of uh force field 
uh, to numb this when people say negative stuff about you. Because I tell people all the time, if you know in your heart and you know in you, that's not you what they're talking about or what they're saying about you, then why worry? <laughs> Just say stick and stone, baby. Stick and stone. Sticks and stones, honey. Now, once you come into my personal space, you start swinging. That's another whole idea. And that's something called self-defense. Get into it. Okay. But going back to the article, um, it says, take a look at Portia's post below, which, like I said, it had gotten removed by Instagram. I don't know if Portia actually removed it or her uh, PR team removed it or, hey, Dennis McKenna himself moved it. Who cares? You know what I'm saying? But that's all I have for that particular article. If anybody can chime in and tell me what Portia actually wrote up on her Instagram account, I would love to see what my girl did over there because each Real Housewives of Atlanta, you come for them. Side boy, we're going to just not say Cynthia Bailey because we got her on the bench and we really don't want to hear nothing from Eva. We pretty much have their mouths duct taped for now. Okay, but they riding the bench on my team. All right, but the rest of them, they don't take no mess. They really don't. <laughs> You come after them, they coming after you. You know, we got team twirl. Twirl be twirling all the time. It, every time she get a chance to tell something, she go on out. She's just my little runaway tornado. Then you got needy OG, self-proclaimed HBIC in charge. You know she ain't going to take no slack. Candy, she sneaky with it, okay? She you know, took something out your plate before you even realized it was gone. That's how she do her business adventure. She gets down in the dog, and when you see it, it's, it's shining like a diamond in the bright sun. And she's like, yeah, I did it. I'm about my business. Okay, I don't talk stuff. I deliver. <laughs> so we see her shine. Who have we got on my point? I think that's about it, isn't it? I think I'll let you know. Let's see. That feel? Okay. Well, Marlo, she's part of the team, but she's not really on the team. But we, we could put her in before we would put Cynthia or Eva. So, yeah, you don't want to mess with them women, honey. Just some fierce walking women. And if you try to come for one of the housewives and there's some other uh, entity out there, they might uh, come together. They might unite just for that cause, okay? Because it's almost like sisterhood. You don't want to mess with them. They're too dangerous together, but they violent. Uh, uh, individually as well, okay? <laughs> a good gathering, I should say. Not necessarily trying to put on uh, hands on nobody because they don't want to go to jail. They ain't, they ain't used to jail time. They don't even look good in orange, all right? But that's all I have for this video. Y'all get down in the comments. Y'all tell me what y'all thought about Portia signing off on London Love. I'm like, you would have thought she would got tired of picking at folks or, or saying things sideways when Tamar Braxton tried to get a hold of her again. And she did it none other than her Tamar Braxton style. Yes, she did. But you would have thought Lonnie would have just simmered down. Don't make too many comments that you can't stand the heat when it come back to you. And that's pretty much what it is. Lonnie always have a chance to throw stones at a glass house and hide her hands. Like she did say nothing. But, yep, every day gets a day to come back to you. It's like a pendulum swinging. You throw it out there, it's calm. It's going to come back and hit you in the butt. How bad? We don't know. But you know it's coming. So be nice to people. It's okay to give your opinion. But, you know, I don't think you should have did that, Lonnie. <laughs> You're not part of the Real Housewives of Atlanta team. You don't up her when she's doing good. Why well, talk about it when she's doing bad? But that's all I got. Hopefully, y'all enjoy this video. Share, like, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. And remember, it's always a family affair over here where you can speak your mind. Get down in the comments. Tell me what you thought about the subject matter. Not necessarily how I put it to you. Okay? But thank you anyway. Peace and blessings. Good night.